We love running, the wind in our hair, the pavement under our feet, the endorphin rush, it's exhilarating. But what happens when life throws a wrench in our running routine? Does our hard-earned fitness vanish overnight? The answer is more nuanced. It's true that running fitness, much like a delicate souffle, requires constant attention to stay at its peak. But fear not, for all is not lost when we take a break from pounding the pavement. When we run consistently, our muscles get stronger, our hearts pump more efficiently, and our lungs become expert oxygen extractors. The good news is, this decline happens gradually, not overnight. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of how our bodies react to a running hiatus, shall we? Remember those powerful leg muscles you sculpted with each stride? When you take a break from running, they're the first to stage a dramatic walkout. It's like they've decided to take an extended vacation, leaving you feeling like you're running through quicksand on your first run back. This mass muscle exodus is due to a phenomenon called muscle atrophy. In simple terms, when you stop using your muscles as intensely as you used to, they start to shrink. But don't despair. Unlike a popped balloon, your muscles are remarkably resilient. With a little coaxing and a gradual return to running, they'll pump back up faster than you can say marathon. Your heart, that tireless drum major of your circulatory system, loves a good run. It thrives on the challenge, pumping oxygen-rich blood to your muscles with the precision of a Swiss watch. But when you hit the pause button on your running routine, your heart tends to overreact. Suddenly that once vigorous beat slows down and your blood volume takes a dip. This cardio catastrophe manifests as a decreased VO2 max, which is a fancy way of saying your body's ability to use oxygen efficiently takes a nosedive. When you stop running, it's like swapping that sports car for a reliable but slightly sluggish family sedan. The good news is, just like retraining your muscles, you can coax your heart back into its star athlete form with a gradual return to running. Soon enough, it'll be back to its old, energetic self, ready to power you through those miles. Okay, let's talk about oxygen. That invisible gas we literally can't live without. When you run, your body becomes a finely tuned oxygen guzzling machine, with your lungs working overtime to extract every last molecule from the air. But when you take a break from running, this well-rehearsed performance starts to falter. Your lungs, accustomed to the regular workout, get a little lazy. This translates to a decrease in your VO2 max, which, as we learned earlier, is your body's ability to use oxygen efficiently. When you stop running, it's like that chain getting a little rusty and stiff. The good news is, just like oiling that rusty chain, you can restore your VO2 max with consistent running. It's like getting the band back together for a reunion tour, a few practice sessions, and they'll be hitting those high notes like they never left. The Lactic Acid, Laugh Riot, when your muscles scream for mercy. Remember that burning sensation in your muscles during a tough run? That, my friends, is lactic acid, a byproduct of anaerobic metabolism, making a grand entrance. When you're running hard and your body can't deliver oxygen fast enough, it resorts to plan B anaerobic metabolism to keep those muscles pumping. Lactic acid builds up in your muscles, causing that familiar burning sensation and making you want to wave the white flag. When you take a break from running, your body's tolerance for lactic acid plummets. The good news is, with a little patience and a gradual return to running, you can teach your body to tolerate lactic acid again. It's like slowly reintroducing your body to that party-crashing friend, one awkward encounter at a time, until they become a familiar face you can handle. The Mental Marathon, Staying Motivated When Your Body Protests Let's be honest, running is as much a mental sport as it is a physical one. It's about pushing your limits, silencing that inner voice telling you to quit, and finding the strength to keep going when your legs are screaming for a break. But what happens to our mental fortitude when we take a hiatus from running? Well, much like our physical fitness, our mental game can also take a hit. It's easy to lose motivation when our bodies aren't cooperating, when every step feels like a monumental effort and when that finish line seems miles away. But here's the thing. Our minds are incredibly powerful tools, and we can train them just like we train our bodies. It's about setting realistic goals, celebrating small victories, and finding joy in the process, even when it's tough. So, the next time you're feeling mentally defeated, channel your inner cheerleader, silence that negative voice, and remind yourself why you started running in the first place. The Time Warp of Training 
how long does it take to bounce back? So, we've established that running fitness fades when neglected, but the burning question remains, how long does it take to bounce back? Think of it this way, time moves differently in the world of fitness. A week off might feel like an eternity but in the grand scheme of things it's a mere blip on the radar. Our bodies are incredibly adaptable and with a little TLC they can bounce back faster than you can say personal best. The key is to listen to your body and ease back into training gradually. Don't expect to pick up right where you left off after a break. Your body will reward you with a triumphant return to running form and you'll be back to crushing those miles before you know it. The Fitness Fizzle Can you really lose it all? Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Can you really lose all your hard-earned fitness if you stop running? The answer, thankfully, is a resounding no. It's not like your fitness evaporates into thin air the moment you hang up your running shoes. Think of it this way. Your fitness is like a savings account. You make deposits with each run, building up a reserve of strength, endurance, and cardiovascular fitness. When you take a break from running, you're essentially making withdrawals from that account. The longer the break, the more withdrawals you make, and the lower your balance gets. But here's the good news. You never completely empty the account. The Giggle-Inducing Guide to Maintaining Fitness Embrace the Quirks All right, let's get real for a second. Maintaining fitness can feel like a never-ending quest, a constant battle against our inner couch potato. But what if we told you it doesn't have to be all sweat, tears, and early morning alarms? What if we embrace the quirks, the unexpected joys, and the occasional stumbles along the way? Think of it this way. Maintaining fitness is like learning a new dance. It's about finding your rhythm, embracing the awkward missteps, and celebrating the moments when you finally nail that tricky sequence. So ditch the all-or-nothing mentality and embrace the quirks of staying fit. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. The Call to Action Join the Run Fitness Revolution So, there you have it, the quirky, hilarious, and sometimes brutal truth about run fitness and its fleeting nature. But remember, dear runners, knowledge is power, and now that you're armed with the science behind the fade, you can outsmart it. Don't let the fear of losing fitness keep you sidelined. Embrace the ebb and flow, the peaks and valleys of your running journey. Remember, every run is a victory, a testament to your dedication to a healthier, happier you. And hey, we're all in this together. Share your running stories, your fitness fails, and your triumphant comebacks in the comments below. So let's get out there, pound the pavement, and show the world that run fitness might fade, but our passion for running never will.